If I were to name one Seahawks player who really does get me kind of excited, it's Tyler Lockett. Uh, under the assumption that people flock to DK Metcalf after that big game last week, which they should. DK Metcalf is awesome. He is $7,000, Lockett 67. And if we look at the Seahawks' targets over the past four games, which is when Brian Schottenheimer said that Tyler Lockett was fully healthy, in those four games, Lockett has 27% of the targets. Metcalf is at 22%. They both have the same number of deep targets, and Lockett has 44% of the red zone targets. So I love DK Metcalf. I had plenty of him last week, but I think this is a good week to go to Tyler Lockett instead. Lockett's market shares are great. We know he is very talented as well. I'm going to go to Lockett quite a bit at 67. What are your thoughts on him versus Metcalf and just kind of overall for those two guys? Um, I like both because I, yeah, don't, I, anticipate, do, yeah. I, don't, I don't anticipate this game being one where... Seattle doesn't throw or doesn't have to throw, whatever it is. Uh, but Tyler Lockett is my preference. He's also cheaper. Uh, but, I mean, you mentioned already he's he's been getting the better work since he's been healthy, whatever exactly right. that means. Sure. Um, but uh, on paper, Green Bay's decent against the pass and against wide receivers. But I don't – you can only do so much with matchups when the, the, right. like, the sample of guys we can pick from is so small. But – um, I do prefer Tyler Lockett, and I, I would probably consider him like a core play because of the price and his opportunity on the four-game slate, so then by default on the two-game slate. I think he's better than every Saturday receiver except for Emmanuel Sanders when you consider salary. The trepidation I have is like, I guess Thielen is up there too, but like I think that Lockett is, he is a top three receiver play for me, I would say. And I feel pretty good about that. Yeah, I can't fault you. I mean, they've really been concentrating targets on yeah. Lockett, Metcalf, and Jacob Hollister. So that helps a lot, especially when you're trying to build stacks with Russell Wilson. Yeah. We don't always get concentrated targets uh, from Russell Wilson. So this is a, a, something we should take advantage of.